Is the right fit for you at this point? Well, I already answered that question uh, two months ago when you guys, uh, some of you guys asking me. Uh, you know, I had, a, had some things that were interested in me, and uh, I thought, you know, when I want to come back to NHL, I just don't want to come back to sit around. I want to, I want to still prove that I can. I still can play hockey at a high level, and uh, you know, when the Flyers asked me if I would be interested to come back and play for that team, I was thinking about it, and I thought it was a good fit for me. Uh, there was a lot of changes, a lot of new guys, a lot of opportunities for anybody, also for me. Now, Yarmir, mean, what's the biggest adjustment for you coming back into North America after three years? The ranks are very nice. Well, you, you gotta wait and see. Uh, I can answer you that after first practice. Uh, you know, a lot of people saying that the league has changed. Uh, a lot of young guys, uh, a little bit quicker. I wasn't here for the last three years, but it's not like I didn't play hockey for the last three years. I didn't retire. I was, I was just playing a different league uh, on a different ice. I think that's gonna be the biggest difference, the, the ice, and it's probably gonna take me some time to adjust. But hopefully, it's gonna be quick. Yeah, what do you say to people that wonder whether you have any left at age 39? <laughs> well, I'm not going to say anything right now. There's, there's probably a lot of people who wonder if I still can play. It's fine with me. Uh, you know, I'm not 21 to try to prove you something with my words. Uh, you just have to wait and see. Uh, you know, I can promise you one thing. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give my best shot to, to, to play on a high level. Don't forget I'm 39. I didn't come here just for money to embarrass myself. I'm not saying I'm going to be dominating. I'm not saying I'm going to play good. But I can promise you I'm going to do all the right things to play good. Can you talk about your relationship with Michael Nylander? And obviously, you know, everyone knows the success that two of you had you know, in New York. You're obviously happy that, that he's here on tryout for hopefully longer. Well, you know, we played pretty good hockey together. Uh, you know, it was after the like, uh, after the lockout, uh, I came from Russia. And Mike was Mike was signed with the Rangers. And it was totally different different league after the lockout. And you know, there was the was first time it was a salary cap. And you know, I think Mikey got the opportunity to play. And there was a lot of a lot of guys. Uh, you know, who got the opportunity to show they can play. They can play, and we were pretty lucky we we run a new new Rangers. Uh, nobody really believe us, uh, and the team the team before us there was so many superstars, so many great players, and they didn't make a play us for the last seven years before us. And you know, I think it was our advantage to just show we can play as a team. And I, I think the first year we had a success as a team, and me and Mike too. Also. How tough has it been in the last couple of weeks of having played in the league last year and all the time being lost in the Oh, I, I, I know it was tough. Uh, it's, it's, you know, I, I, it's life. Sometimes the life can be tough. Everybody wanted to, for everybody. You know, all, only good things, but sometimes the life brings you something sad and, you know, you just just have to feel sorry for the people, you know, for the family, the players, uh, and you just have to sometimes think that life is a little bit more than anything else, you know. And uh, get me thinking also that it can happen to anybody, uh, anywhere. Uh, you know, that's why you should enjoy enjoy your life any any minute and and work the hardest you can all, all the time and uh, like I said, enjoy it. You, you won two cups your first two years. Never people thought that team was going to win a bunch of them. And here you are, 39 years old. Is, is that one of the reasons that you're back in this league? Uh, are you hungry to win another cup? Is that something that you probably thought you were going to win more back in the league? <laughs> well, to be honest with you, when I, when I came in the league, I was 18 years old. And during the communist years, uh, there was not many people who knew about NHL. All we knew is about the Olympics and World Championships. And I was first time out of the, the house. Uh, I was a little bit homesick, and I want to go. I want to go home after the season. And we will keep winning, keep winning, won the Stanley Cup. I, I, and I didn't appreciate it, what what I won. And I thought it's going to be like that every year, every year. And and we had a great, great we had a great team. Uh, I was pretty lucky. I was playing with 
a lot of great players, you know, I can learn from. You know, uh, that was probably the best thing happened to me in my hockey career. But uh, before every season, there's 30 teams. You no, know, before it was 21 teams, but now it's 30 teams who are trying to win it. And you know how how tough is it to, to win it? You have to be lucky. You have to you have to be good team, plus you have to be lucky and you know, stay out of injuries. And that's very important. You know. But I think this team has a has a has a big shot to do it, and I'm going to be part of it. Yarmir is as happy as you made Flyers fans with your decision. Do you think you disappointed a few Pittsburgh fans? <laughs> well, I, I don't I don't want to go back to that again. Uh, you know, I, first of all, when I was making the decision, I never thought that Pittsburgh fans would want me back. Uh, every time I play there, you know, they were booing me every time I touched the puck. I, I, didn't, I didn't think it's going to be such a big deal if I'm not going to sign me for, with the Pittsburgh. On the other side, you know, it was, it was my decision, and don't forget, I was, you know, I, it, was, it was my second, second time, I was the second time free agent uh, over 21 years. I, I never really was a free agent. Uh, every time I, I almost was a free agent, the team signed me for long term, and you know that was the first time I was when I was 36, and I decided to go to Russia. And there was the second time I was a, I was a free agent, and uh, you know I had a I had a chance to to do what I thought it's it's the best for me. And it, you know if if I hurt somebody, I, I apologize because I didn't want to. But on the other side, I I just don't understand. Why people can be that mad about my decision? What do you remember about the Flyers Pens rivalry when you played the Penguins? <laughs> that was, you know, Flyers was always tough to play against. Uh, they had the big guys, and they always drafted the big guys, strong guys. Uh, they were playing very physical. You know, I remember I had a tough time to play. Uh, you know, nobody really wanted to play the Flyers you know, back then. You know, it, it, it was tough. <laughs> You know, he knew it's gonna it's gonna hurt to play against them. That's what I remember the most. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, what are your impressions? You skated today with uh, James Van Riemsdyk and Paul Giroux. What are your early impressions of those? Well, I, I wasn't here for three years, and I said it before. A lot of a lot of guys who are stars here, they they just started when I was when I was leaving, and. Uh, you know, I, I think after first practice, you cannot really say, but uh, I was watching on YouTube, I was watching on uh, NHL.com some highlights of those players. You know, I want to make sure to see what kind of players we got on the team, how they're scoring the goals, and that uh, was pretty impressive. Uh, those guys were very skilled, and they're, they're very good around the net, and they make a good decision. And, you know, it's, that's, that's, that's great. Are you offer? Um, are you the type of player that will offer advice to some of these young players if they come to you, you know, for any kind of advice? Well, of course, I mean, there's no question about it. Uh, I I had it when I was younger, and I, I said it before. You know, it was probably the best thing that happened to me when I was drafted by this group Penguins. I had a chance to play with such a great players. Not also good, not, not only great players, but hardworking guys. Uh, and there was no accident. The, you know that team, this group Penguins, early night is they were the best teams in the NHL because if you would see all those guys, how, how they work after the, after the practices, you know, all summer, so Rick Dock at uh, Kevin Stevens, all those guys, they were competing each other, and uh, you know I'm trying to do it with, 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 with them, and that's what that's what put me on a different 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 level. And I'm just gonna answer the question you asked me. If somebody asked me for a question, you know, of course I'm gonna, I'm gonna help. So I can. You know, I got probably one more year left. So I cannot. <laughs> Where I gonna take it? When you put on that orange jersey, was, it, was there any pause in your mind? I can't believe I'm putting on it. What I'm doing, huh? <laughs> <laughs> they were hitting me last 15 years. What I'm doing? Uh. Yeah, I mean, did it even occur to you? I mean, it's, it's a big deal here. For, Flyer fans to see you put that jersey on. Just, you're only really remembered here for the black and gold. Well, hopefully it's, it's, it's a good big deal for the people. And uh, uh, I would really appreciate it if, if they're happy I came. Uh, all, I, all I can tell them, I'm going to do maximum to not disappoint them. 
I don't know if I'm going to play good or bad. I, I cannot answer that one, but I can do 100%. 100% sure I'm going to do everything to be good. How much do you miss the NHL? Did, did you miss it? I would be lying to say, I would say I'm not, I didn't miss it, but uh, I, you know, three years ago when I made the decision I'm going to go to Russia, I said I'm not going to think about it. Uh, that wouldn't make me any better at the thinking if I make a good decision or a bad decision. I was pretty sure back then that that's the last time I played in NHL uh, three years ago. And, and you know, once again, you can never never say never. You never know what the life's going to bring you. What part of your game to remain the best shot, you know, through the year, even though you weren't in this league? What part of your way you play is still, like, the best part of your game? Well, I, you know, I, I think that that kind of answer should should answer somebody else. Uh, uh, the question should answer somebody else. Uh, I thought my game was always on the board. Uh, I felt like I'm strong enough to hold the puck, uh, play one on one. Hopefully, it's going to be the case in this year. Um, making good decision in offensive zone. I never been those as a defender. I play good defense, but <laughs> you know, nobody will ask me that if, if if I was scoring. You said a minute ago that uh, you have one year. Are you looking at this as your last year, or are you, is there a change to go beyond one year? Well, I, you know, that's that's why I signed. I was looking for one year because I, I I don't know if I 